be able to get back in? Oh, yeah. I'll stick your camera in the door. Yeah, stick my camera in the door for a block. But, but now we're heading outside the Mac Center. And uh, apparently this live feed thing's working. And this is probably pretty groundbreaking, I think, Joe, right? With the, hey, the amount of... Uh, that's flow cast. Groundbreaking, huh? This, There's the KSU two year, room. In two years, this is going to be caveman stuff for us. In, in one year. What's that, a pool in there? That was the old pool. And now what they're trying to do, that was at one time they were looking at maybe going a wrestling room up there. But that's actually architecture. We have one of the oh, best architecture be schools in the country. The yeah, but I think gymnastics is going to move into there. And we are going to move to where gymnastics is currently. So they got the new windows here. Okay, shoot. You know what? I think let's just, let's just watch the pre-match from here. It's empty. In there. Not! That's We're not it. going live, not. Yeah. <laughs> you can't not not go live. You can't not not go live. So these guys are going to be filing in down here. And uh, it's groundbreaking. I would tell you the uh, code to this lock, but then... Everybody in the country would come and break in the catch room and, you know, work out. But uh, here it is, the new room. Oh, the wall mats make it way nicer. Yeah, it was like all, all bad last time, right? Challenge? Challenge. Well, you know what? Um, if I can do it with the live pack and this camera and this other thing in my hand. See, yeah, I get to carry this bad boy around too. Easy. Yeah. Why well, I can't show that off? Huh? A bag of tricks? Yeah. Don't give it all away, huh? They got a pretty nice deal here. A lot of airdynes, a little Rage Against the Machine. That's a lot of these people in a... Little bowls on parade, huh? Of the year. Yeah, oh yeah, it's gonna be a good one, hopefully. I hope Kilgore comes down like fully, like has all, all his stuff on and everything. A lot of natural light for a wrestling room, huh? I like that. Turn that down. So I'm pumped. I'm pretty stoked. Yeah. But this is the shotgun of all shotguns because everybody's seeing everything. How many flat screens do they have? And they got this bad boy. You know what? I think you know what we need to do? I think we need to bring the live feed up here right now and watch it. Oh, sweet. Wait, is it not live right now? Yeah, it will be. Open a new window. They've been to flow wrestling before. Have they, you think? Type in FL and it shows up. There it comes. So let's see, you know, we're watching ourselves watch. I don't think it's online, man. Yeah, but it's going to it. How do you know? Because it brought the icon up. But you know what, maybe, maybe you uh, need to open another window, Big Joe. I'm trying. No, it might not be online. They got their scale and everything in here. Not getting on that. Super pre-match. Oh, me there, I bet you it says over 247 with all this gear on. What's the packway, 20? Probably something like that. Something like that, uh -oh. yeah. Uh-oh. We got officials. Officials. Look at these guys. Let's guys, do a, let's do an official interview. Huh? I've talked to Fred Feeney. Fred Feeney is the ref man. He's on. He's, he's on. 12.42. That is not right. It is 1.25. Fred Feeney looking for the team. Fred, we're live, just so you know, man. 
big match, two tough teams. Do you get nervous? What do you do to prepare for a wrestling match like this? Uh, you know what? We were just talking about that in the locker room. And, uh, you know, I've been I had some pretty big matches in my life so far. And, you know, thank goodness for that. I just tell myself, uh, A, I wouldn't be here if I wasn't supposed to be here. And number two, I say a little prayer, and that prayer is, Lord, don't let me see something I've never seen before. You know? Other so, than that, we're good to go. What goes through your head when there's a call, you know it's close, you know half the people are going to be pissed, um, but you got to make the call, you got to make it quick. Uh, you know what? You live and die by the football. You know? So hopefully I know all the criteria that I need to know. I, I keep it within that boundary, and I don't play favorites. It is what it is, and hopefully you, you hold it. You hold it enough so that it's within your framework, what your what you need, you know, your criteria for that call based on the rule book. And uh, after 21 years, we hope we've got enough of that right, you know, to be able to make that. Uh, it, it, it's all about control. You know, take down to stage reverses. It's all about control. Wins a gain, wins a loss. How do you practice? Uh, I had, get, I had 57 better? matches this year. Uh -huh. You know, and I, I've, I've had that that amount for a long time. So I, I do this to keep it at the very top of my game so when it gets to the NCAA or the max or whatever, you're, you're just you know. Why did you decide to be a pitcher? Uh, two reasons. One is uh, I saw a long time ago a guy get screwed by a referee and the referee didn't know the rule. And he admitted he didn't know it. And he said, I don't I don't always read the rule book every day. How's that happen? That's, that's literally the worst thing you could yeah. say. And, and it was at that point I decided, you know, and I think I'm going to do it and read the rule book. Have you ever been screamed at by a raving lunatic here at a Kent State duel? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Let me see. After a match? There was, there was one guy. I can't remember his name. Wait a minute. Uh, pit match. It was Close. A pit match. Ended up, Kent lost 16-15. It was. And, you know, and, and that was kind of related to what we talked about there about mm -hmm. criteria. It was a situation in college that the feet come up, and in high school, feet come up and land back in, it's two. In college, once it breaks that plane, you're out of bounds. And in that very situation, Kent needed the, the takedown to win the match, win the duel. And the feet came up, broke the plane, and came right back down. The only guy that knew that in the entire gym was me. And in that quick second, I had to decide, you know what? I know the rule, and I know what happened. And I called him out of bounds knowing that the wrath of God was going to come down on me, but that's okay, you know. Are we educating the community? Are we helping? Is the amount of video and, and uh, being able to see things? Do your officials use it and go back and, and, and uh, critique one another? You know, Zeb, I teach two classes a year for new officials in Ohio, and I most of my class is based on video clips. This is a good, this is a bad, this is the ugly. And I tell guys that if you take your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, somebody, and videotape yourself your first five years, you'll be the best you can be. Videotape, watch clips, and be evaluated by somebody that knows more than you do. I, I have people watch me all the time, and I tell them, watch me and tell me what I'm doing wrong, if I'm doing something wrong. That's what you need to do to get better. And you're mic'd up today. Yeah. You're mic'd up today, huh? <laughs> but the Big Ten Network does that to you, because you do a lot of Ohio State yep. duels. You're from, you live in Columbus, I'm Dublin. In Dublin, yeah. Okay. Yep. But I, I did one Ohio State duel this year. I did, I think, eight uh, Big Ten duels. Uh, so I had a nice schedule this year, yeah. But it's, you know, get around man i do get around that was my weekend last week really cool well hey we're going to actually film your, your speech and everything what you're going to tell the guys uh hopefully that's cool with you. Mates? yeah ah, cool. Cool. Nah, i'll keep it clean and check check the nails too <laughs> check the nails and make sure there's no no dirt mcgird on these they guys they do that in uh they do that in uh way in so would this mustache fly on your mat Mustache is good. Good? Uh, though, you know, I'll tell you a quick story. Yesterday, OAC championship. <laughs> Wilmington heavyweight D3. had a little soul patch. D3. Yeah. A great championship. He had a little soul patch right here. And a kid ended up winning it. And you could hardly notice it, you know? He's a big, gigantic guy. He's about yeah, six yeah. foot seven. And I, I'm looking at it during the match, and match here, I go, that's not legal. He goes, I didn't think he'd notice it. <laughs> And he counts for final. I'm not going to tell you what Fred Ambrose said to me one time when I walked out on the mat. Oh. Him and I talked about it the other night and had a good laugh. Let's just put it that way. He's All right. Guy. Well, hey, thank you for the time. Thanks, I appreciate it. And we're going to catch the Great premium. thing that you guys do. And uh, um, uh, Martin, where are you? <laughs>